Ahoy, shipmates. Time to enjoy more of the variety of shipping that the Port of Southampton offers on this wonderful day. It's the TSS TT Cowshot. Or more accurately, the Twin Screw Steamship Tug Tender Cowshot. Launched in 1929, the Cowshot has had an interesting past, manoeuvring many of the large and famous cruise ships around the Port of Southampton, taking part in the D-Day landings. One of the 7,000 vessels that took part in the D-Day landings. Also transported the famous Mulberry Harbours across the channel and served as a non-assault HQ ship. Originally owned by the Tug Tender Cowshot Trust, the Cowshot has now been purchased by a local marine restoration company. And that's what we can see happening today. She's moved from 36 berth or thereabouts up near where the cruise ships are and she's being tugged. The tug is being tugged all the way up to Ocean Wharf up near Belvedere Road where she will undergo a three-year restoration. In 2017 the MCA Marine Coast Guard Agency uh, declared that she was unseaworthy and the Trust has been looking for a solution to their problem since. I would have liked to have been a bit lower but I just had to dodge a few suspicious looking seagulls. So it's photo time. It's not often I take photographs of such a small ship with tugs. I think it's probably better if I zoom in a bit, yes. These are the wide tugs. We don't often see them in our sort of end of the port. They tend to be more itch inside. Uh, while I was there, I took flipped round. And this is the entrance to Empress Dock, and in the back you can see the P&O Iona. That was some great weather this day, so it was worth coming out. Patches of sun and some great looking clouds. You'll probably see them in some of the shots later. A few facts and figures. 684 gross tons. And a length of 44 metres. And a beam of 10 metres. Installed power is 1500 brake horsepower. And propulsion is by a triple expansion steam engine with twin screw propellers. That's hence the TSS name. They were replaced by diesels in 1964. Capacity, now this surprised me, 566 passengers. I think we've got some great lights here, a good position. Oh yeah, that's come out really quite well. In the top left hand corner there you can see a crane and some new buildings. That's the site of the Thornycroft factory in Woolston where the cow shop was built back in 1929. Originally in service for the Red Funnel. That'll be the ferry service we see on Ferry Cam. She was in service with the Red Funnel until 1964. After that, she was sold to the Holland American Line, where she went to Galloway in Ireland to move the... Mastam and the Rheindam. And that's the sort of the top of the screen there, that tall building with the red crane. That's the former Thornycroft Works where the cow shop was built. And I get you get a good idea of those fantastic clouds we've had recently. Not only do we have the Cow shot, we've also got the Steam Tongue Challenge. Now, a couple of older vessels in port that are sort of heritage vessels, and the ST Challenge is one of those. Again, she's a steam tug powered by diesel. Makes a great noise on a whistle. Unfortunately, didn't get any while I was running here. And now that the pandemic is over, ST Challenge has a, a busy schedule, I believe, for the coming summer. This is one of her first outings, was to escort the 
TSS TT Cowshot to her new resting place for the next three years. And after that, there's a full calendar of all sorts of events available for hire, weddings, you name it. Again, I'm trying to get a shot here with the IO in the background. A little challenging. Sometimes the ideas for the photographs don't really come out until after I've made the video. And I always think to myself, I should have been in a slightly different place. But that's one of the hazards of trying to take a video film and try to take photographs at the same time. The two aren't necessarily compatible. But I shall keep going. I shall get better. While well, the light's improving here. A little puddle of sun for the ST challenge. And you can see the cow shots there in the top right hand corner. And the big tall building in the top left, that's the Ocean Village. Challenge is a very similar age to cow shot, having been built in 1931. 110 feet long, and beam of 26. Fuel capacity on board for 110 tonnes. Uh, originally, Challenge was powered by coal, uh, but she was converted in 1964 to heavy oil. And there's even some accommodation on board. Two cabins in the forward saloon, one for the master, one for the chief engineer, and seven berths in the aft. Oh, here we go. Got those lovely clouds again. Unfortunately, cow shot was a little too far away. Could have done with them being slightly closer together to make a, a better shot there. Well, I've sort of reached the end of my droning limit. But to do have a look at the ST Challenges website. There's all sorts of information and photographs there about the history of the vessel. And you can also give you information on arranging trips and tours and maybe going out on one of the many sightseeing excursions they offer in the Port of Southampton. Uh, the next ship I hope to drone with a similar nature is the Shield Hall. Uh, she's a very popular ship in Port and again does lots of sightseeing around the Solent and for the fireworks for Cows Week and so on. Hope to get on board there. Again, classic ship, renovated and run by a local society. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed that. A little unusual. And until next time, shipmates.